Hey everyone, welcome back to another Anime Kingdom review. See by title below. Yes, this is on episode five of Don Machi Gaiden Sword Oratoria. And once again, just like episode four, I am actually enjoying this this episode, this series so far. Like, if they literally, in my opinion, do this for me, do this for yourself right now. Just picture episode one, two, and three never happened. Episode 4 is the first episode. If you think like that, honestly, this series is going pretty good so far. <laughs> um, but unfortunately, episode 1 to 3 did happen. Episode 1, like I keep saying, um, I just felt like I just gave it an okay. It was an okay episode. It was an introduction episode, you know? Um, episode 2, literally just a waste of time. I don't know why they even had that. And even episode 3, I would wish it never happened because sure, it showed Lefia kind of not showing her as much of a dead weight and showing that she does have potential as a main protagonist. But after watching episode 4 and 5, I don't even see the point of having her as even a protagonist at all, you know? Because literally, they're doing a good job at finally showing off Eyes as the main protagonist. This is what I've wanted for, you know, when I first heard this was going to come out, I was, of course, disappointed that, you know, we weren't really getting a true Don Machi season 2. But I was at least happy because I was like, you know, it'll be interesting to see eyes as the main character to see everything from her point of view and see how things go from the side side by side kind of thing since the both stories are side by side and so far you know until episode four it's kind of just been eyes is there and more of they're trying to push us push lefia onto us and that's what i just don't like because i just don't like her character there's not really much that she adds to this story she's just kind of there and sure she gets you know eyes kind of being happy every once in a while but it doesn't just after seeing how much of her every so often like in this episode included where it's just fangirling over eyes and like oh my gosh I, I, I can't feed her I can't do that and her getting jealous over Tione at one point as well saying hey I would that's my job do you want any snacks of my favorite snacks and I'm like Oh man, she's just, her character is seriously so irritating. Episode 3 kind of did a little bit better, you know? Like I said, I was like, okay, she's not dead weight. She's actually pretty badass when she does her spells. And she had an impact in this episode as well when she was fighting with her being able to, you know, her and Reveria. When they said they were going to do a combo, I was hoping for some cool spell combo together. Not Reveria just being a decoy and then her using her fire abilities, which is pretty cool. It's like a rain of fire kind of thing. And she definitely did help without her it may have taken a lot longer to destroy that thing but overall other than that I still don't see Lefia as a main protagonist and she is listed as one if you do look on my anime list and that is kind of what they're pushing but episode 4 and 5 they're definitely not pushing it as much like I said it's more focused on eyes to which that is why I am happy and that's why I am enjoying the story so far because it's more on eyes and because of course the story overall is finally making, showing its, you know, presence. It's actually having some progression with it. Episode 4 is where we finally got to see. Episode 1, 2, and 3, we didn't really know what this story was about. But Episode 4 is where the main kind of antagonist was showing itself. Where things were starting to be put together. And that is what I am enjoying. We got to see in this episode with Loki going down to see Lord Uranus. And, um, you know, finding out. Is he the one that's involved with this? Is him in the guild the one that started this whole thing with the monsterphilia, controlling these plant monsters? And of course, obviously he says no with a straight face, but when she walks away, you see this other person appear and saying that they don't want to make an enemy of Loki and that, you know, they're doing all this stuff that, yes, Uranus is in fact working with these people. He's not the one in charge, but he is working with whoever this is. And that's another thing. We still don't really know what their plans are. So that's definitely, a, it definitely gives, you know, a lot of tension to like when you're watching the rest of the episode to see, holy shit, you know, Reveria Finn them. They're trying to figure out what's going on here, but they don't know. It has something to do with the connection between, you know, eyes and whoever this murderer is. But it doesn't really, it still keeps that mystery alive that it keeps you wondering like what's going to happen next, you know? Why are they doing this? We really don't know why are they doing this. It's, we just know that that murder person, to which of course we do see that yes indeed she did have the face of the guy she killed. But what was disgusting was of course that it was not that she could just, you know, I was thinking that she could use her powers and make her face look just like the guy. 
no, she literally had his face on her, on her face. Like, like, she peeled it off. And I was like, yeah, you don't need to show that. That's pretty disgusting, honestly. Um, but surprisingly as well, she is literally super strong. She was literally just taking... Eyes could not handle her. And then this is the point where we finally see that connection between eyes and her, like I was saying. And how her mom had those certain type of eyes that she has as well. And we do see that when she uses her wind ability... That's where the murderer finally this is able to say, huh? Is your name, you know, is that, are you, is that you, Arya? To which, of course, also, Arya is her mother. And we see this is another big thing for um, Aiz's character as, you know, being the main protagonist. Is that we see, we learn more about her and see that in this flashback when she's with her mother. I'm guessing that's her father tells her, let's go, Arya. And when they walk away, it kind of looks like they just left her. And this is, of course, a huge impact on Aiz. Um, overall and that's why it impacts her later on to kind of just want to do her own thing and just trying to fight all these monsters not really caring in a way she's just su and super mad because like it seems that she wasn't able to defeat this person and she wants to know what is the connection what does she know about her mother because her mother seemed to have just walked away and left eyes when she was younger so that's why it's pretty interesting so far on that point of view you know and another thing is, I really enjoyed the episode, obviously, I always enjoyed Don Machi's action. And the action in this episode was pretty damn cool. We got to see, like I said, Lefia use her crazy, you know, magic abilities. We got to see Tione and Tiona fight this monster, this weird plant monster and destroy it. And then the thing that really got me, and I really want to see more of, is Finn. Finn, in this episode, we've always seen him every so often, you know, he fights some mobs and stuff like that. And that's what we saw. Then he went up against the murderer who, obviously you saw, literally took Eyes out like it was nothing practically. Sure, Eyes kind of was able to fight toe-to-toe -to -toe with her, but it was a slowly losing battle to the point where she couldn't move. Then, of course, you have Finn coming in, and at first it seemed like they're pretty kind of close in combat skills, but yeah, Finn is just like, just like, <laughs> I can handle this easy. Sure, she breaks her his weapon, but then he just punches her in the face and then like oh she broke my finger like it was nothing i was like damn honestly i want to see more of more i was supposed to say more of eyes yeah i want to see more of eyes as well i want to see more of finn he's actually pretty badass unfortunately of course he does end up leaving later on and we have riveria and um eyes going after trying to still go on a little bit more obviously it's pretty funny to see finn and uh, riveria are kind of like the mother and father of eyes in a way in the way they take care of them so it was pretty nice to see that kind of connection and see riveria even though she knows sooner or later this is going to happen you know that she was they're not going to be able to stop um eyes from leaving and this way, she gets to kind of learn why Eyes is acting this way, since Eyes is not telling anyone. But overall, the episode ends with this crazy-ass floor boss and Eyes and Riveria facing it, to which, of course, Eyes is like, I'm going to take this on myself, to which that's where the episode ended. But yeah, overall, pretty damn awesome episode. I loved where it's going. The story's progressing pretty damn well. Um, I love the character development more with Eyes. And, oh, I almost forgot to say, the whole big thing about the last episode was that damn weird egg thing. Turns out it was a seed. Turns out it just transformed into the monster. And that w there goes their clue. So they don't really know much about that as well. So the connections of everything is still left up in mystery. And that's why I'm honestly pretty damn excited to see what's going to happen in these next episodes. Literally, like I said before, don't just, just act like episode 1 to 3 never happened. And so far, the series is going pretty damn awesome, in my opinion. But, yeah, that's all I got to say, guys. Hope you enjoyed this Anime Kingdom review. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If there's anything I missed and you want to talk about, comment below as well. And if you did enjoy it, give a like. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe for more content. And as always, guys, I want to hear your guys' thoughts. How did you guys feel about this episode? How are you feeling that it is progressing? Any thoughts, good or bad, I want to hear what you guys want to say. Because... As always, this is not just a review, this is a discussion as well, and I always love to see and talk about how you guys feel about this episode as and just the series overall as well. So, yeah, that's all I got to say, guys. Hope you guys enjoy this Anime Kingdom review, and until next time, see ya. Yeah.